Hello, who are you guys? Oh, we're the bakers. The um, bakers. Uh, and this is the baker bus. Yeah. I'm Gareth. I'm Vicky. I'm Annabelle. And I'm Jess. Amazing. The people yeah. that are watching this yeah. would like to see how you can fit a boat, uh, four people, yeah, we bikes, do, we cars. Do, we do have some toys in the baker bus. Windsurfing um, kit. Yeah. So, wow. Um, it is quite big. Um, yeah. But that's because there's four of us. Yeah. Uh, and this is our home. We live in it. We've been living in it for seven months now. You guys have quite a special lifestyle as well. Traveling around for seven months with two kids as well. Yeah. So I would love to talk a little bit about how you do with the school and travels and everything. So what do you say about having some Swedish coffee? And as we say in, in, in Sweden, it's uh, Swedish fika. Yeah. And um, let's have a chat. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds wonderful. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Yay! Swedish coffee! Yay! 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 Nice. Oh, look at that. Yes. Cheers. So, how do you say uh, minute, cheers or thank you or in Swedish? So, cheers is skål. 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 And uh, thank you is tack så mycket. 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 Yes. Skål. Tack så mycket. Cheers. Let's try. We can do this in Swedish, I think. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is what I think is really, really interesting because people that are watching, they usually see like young couples, old couples, mm. sometimes, you know, with kids traveling just for a month or two or a week or two. But you've been on the road for seven months. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. And girls school? Do we skip school or what do we do? Uh, no. Um, so we have a website that we've been using. When did we start using it? Uh, at home. I was in year four, so like two years ago. Yeah. That's part of your homeschooling. Part of my it? homeschooling. That's like um, a bit of it. And then some people might not know this, but in England you have SATs, and it's basically like GCSEs um, at the end of junior school. So in my year, year six. Um, and so every day I do one SATs paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one whole SATs paper, and then every day, Jess, what do you do? You do like it varies. I do um, biology every day, yeah, and I do maths every day, mm -hmm. and I do the website Annabelle was talking about every day. And then I'll, I think sometimes we add stuff in, sometimes we take things out, depending on how big the test is. Or so, how many hours a day do you actually go to school? <laughs> now this is going to be fascinating. <laughs> one, one hour. So, yeah. One hour. And she's 11. It's not one hour. I don't, yeah. It's, it's really, really different. It used to be but it's quite intense. probably about one hour, but now I think it's about So, should we, hour, maybe, hour, maybe, hour, maybe hour. it is so. So, okay, so what do you guys say then? <laughs> so, I would say you do two or three hours a day, but not every day. We don't manage to do it every day. Like today, we, you've done some Only when today. we're tired. I do, I do do it most days, but only when I'm tired, I know. Yeah. It's like so yesterday, I only got half It's of been it an done. interesting journey. Yeah. So we've learned yeah. along the way. Mm -hmm. Our plan originally was to leave in September, take them out of school, and homeschool them for probably a year, and then for them to go back to school in September. Um, so we were just following the curriculum in order to plug them back into mm. school in September. Um, but quite quickly, evolved, mm. we've, we've accelerated you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What what you discover in in van life, and you'll know this, is you have more flexibility over your time. Yeah. So what we needed was some routine. Um, so every morning, the children have a minimum amount of work that they have to do, which covers maths and English, and that's the website that they were talking about. It's called IXL. It's IXL. very clever. It basically takes the <laughs> curriculum for their age group, 
breaks it down into chunks and then it tests them against each of those chunks if they don't understand it it helps teach them yes. if they don't can't do it from that then they come to us it just goes uh, probably to english with vicky and maths probably with me oh, um and um <laughs> and then once they've learned how to do that it's very clever if they if they're guessing or they don't really understand it it forces them to go back so if they wow. get to 95 yeah. out of 100 and then start making mistakes as the questions get harder and harder. Yeah. Get then back. it boots them back to like 80. 80. And then we'll know that it's not going well because you'll hear the groan. <laughs> um, and then you, In fact, can, you say, can probably hear the groan. You could probably, yeah, you could probably hear it down the other end. And I'm in so, the other end of the yeah. bargain. <laughs> so it's a very clever system that makes sure they actually understand what they're yeah. doing, not just answering questions. Yeah. Wow. You can't guess. You can guess yeah. for like three questions. You can, yeah. you can probably guess to begin with and then afterwards, if you don't oh. understand it, it, yeah. it catches you out. So if she does a SATS paper and she gets two, two or three mm. questions wrong, yeah. then we only focus on teaching her that mm. because we know that she's okay mm. with, everything with, with everything else. So quite quickly, we've been able to find the gaps mm. in her learning. Mm. So rather than teach everything, yeah. we're only teaching the bits they that don't know. they don't know. Or don't understand. Which wow. has meant that they've actually accelerated yeah. a bit faster than if we thought they have accelerated yeah. faster if you measure it yeah. against the exam. Yeah. And you yes. can get all the stuff online, yeah, past papers, marking guides. Yeah. Then you say, how do you make their education broader yeah. Well, obviously, there's all the stuff that we do here. So if we take science, for example, yeah. both the girls, I'm fairly sure, would be able to describe to you about electricity, batteries, series circuits mm. and parallel circuits, which is part of the science curriculum, but not just from a textbook because they've watched me do solar power or yeah. sort the batteries out. Yeah. Um, and when you do it like that, that helps in that regard. And then their biology, they do a lot of you've been doing a lot of bug hunting with your friends oh, yeah. and so they, yeah. they get to see nature in and that sense. The mice. So that's the yeah. broader bit. So the Baker bus rule is get it done and then we can have fun. And I therefore everybody's trying to get their work done as quickly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and quite rightly, sometimes, so this morning might be a really good example. So we had a lovely night last night. We had yep. a film night yeah, yep. with the vans. We were out, it was late. Um, Girl, so the tired. children were really tired. But this morning I was woken up to hearing Jessica doing schoolwork. So we think that school's brilliant. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with schools, no. but actually the amount of time you spend in school by the time you get there, you can condense that all down yeah. to probably three, four hours a day. I mean, it's taking me longer than it usually would or than Annabelle because um, we're trying to flip it around and me try and do the exam standard yeah. Yeah. instead Early. of doing the, I'm my standard. Sure, there's, I'm sure there's gaps. I'm sure there's there will be gaps. <laughs> gaps. But, but they always better, will be. Better at yeah. Like no oh, matter where you are. So, yeah. But then the question is, so because this is kind of interesting to see from two points of view, both from, from you girls but also from you as parents. Yeah. So um, because it is quite a different lifestyle, right? Yes. yes. I, I love it. I, I live by this rule myself. I do my work early in the morning uh, and he always complains yeah. about me going up 6 a.m. in the morning and that's yeah. because I want to work and then I can enjoy the day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. get it done and have fun. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I l absolutely love that. Uh, but have you had other like parents or people around in your surroundings, you know, your network thinking like, what are they doing? How are they going to manage this? Have you had a lot of people like, you know, not <sighs> believing I, that this will work? I people actually, from home or people in vans? that we've Both, met? both. Okay. I personally think that people have been very supportive. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love that. And I think with... Um, the COVID lockdown. Yeah. Um, everyone was a little bit more open minded yeah. with homeschooling because we all had to do it. Yeah. And I think it opened up that feeling of actually mm. can we achieve it? For some people it just does it's it's not the right thing for them to do. Yeah. It's um it's hard work. Yeah, you it's have not to be as, a very it's not necessarily easy. Yeah. And the kids have got to wanna to do it. If you're fighting with kids that don't want to, to to study and learn then it is incredibly difficult yeah so for some families it just doesn't work and school is the right place for them um but we have just managed to make it work yeah and yeah and, also, I, and as a team i think yes it, well first it's yeah. a team activity and we discussed this this morning yeah, as yeah, well. yeah so it requires everybody to be on board yeah um and we can't force the children to learn so if they dig their heels in and just so oh, oh, I can't do it, it's too difficult. And we did then, have that at the beginning. And we definitely had that. Yeah. So yeah. you're you're meeting us seven months in, 
we know our routines, we know each other better, yeah. um, we've been living in a oh, box. Okay. Um, it all sounds easy. It sounds but super easy, but it's, it's a roller coaster. There's been some moments. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think, as you were saying, you were asking, do you meet people that sort of like think, this isn't really going to work? Yeah. You meet, you're always going to meet people that are going to question it. Like, I, I don't yeah. believe yeah. that you can do an exam without a teacher, or I don't believe that you can travel and work yeah which for some people really doesn't work but so you're always going to meet people that don't fully think this isn't going to this is possible work. yeah i yeah. think we haven't no. met any yet but you will but like you know a few a few, a few, fr of course, little, a few friends at school yeah some of them thought like oh they're not gonna do it but i understand i really yeah. understand that because we also didn't think we would yeah be able to and here you are that. and yeah. here we are yeah. i mean we only decided this last january yeah and it it's just evolved. Yeah. So it's possible if you want it. Yeah. And there, there's a word that the most commonly used word that we had in the last seven months is how lucky we are. Mm. And one of the things that we're lucky with is that our children have really bought into the concept. And that means that, yeah, I can wake up in the morning and they've already got up and done their yeah. schoolwork. But that didn't, that, that didn't start from nothing. Back oh, yeah. when we were at home oh, in no. a more traditional yeah. lifestyle, we would make them get up and do extra school work before they went to school, which they oh, complained boo. about bitterly. <laughs> so, um, so what they're all mean, we've done is mean. just extend that <laughs> a little parents. bit. <laughs> mean parents. Yeah, we're terribly but mean parents. You are. But just no, to remind you, how many hours of school do you do a day? <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. No. Um, so, so how is life then for, for you girls? Like, if we, if we start with you, just like, do you like this lifestyle? Do you miss going back to school? Like, so, how do you like this? Very small things I miss, mm -hmm. but like oh, it's feel. all about balance. Like I miss my friends, I miss my cats, I miss my nan, I miss showers. Like <laughs> big, <laughs> we shower, but I miss hours of showering. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I don't. I think when we go home and we end up with our own rooms again, it's kind of really weird. Do you miss your bedroom? No, not yeah. one bit. Like yeah. I, I, I've. Me and Annabelle have li literally always yeah. been in the same room, in a double bed, um, for mm. all our life. And then um, coming in here, it's like we were never forced to live together yeah. in the same like room. Space. But and we never, we kind of just did it. But now, even now, we're forced. I would never ever yeah, we'll want to go back to my own room you had your own room yeah, for a while same. You do it never so i'd like... never want to do it again i love waking up like my head always i'm here so i love waking up and my dad will be working my mum will be in bed in bed <laughs> <probably. laughs> oh but i can just That's look nice. down on everyone in my own room i can't do that i can open the door and look at the hallway but yeah it's not that interesting yeah it's so the same for hmm. me my life my lifestyle is great here no, yeah. the same for me. Like we, we do have two separate bedrooms, but we've always been together. Mm. I miss a few friends at school, like some of my best friends and stuff. And I miss my nans and my cats and stuff. And like Jess said, the small things like a shower or a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> so you do the washing at home? No. no. <laughs> So how machine. can you miss it? Out of all the things they miss in a house, the washing the machine. Machine. you know why I think that is? It's because you walked past the washing machine to get into the house. So I think it was, oh. like, it was like the entrance. It, yeah, of my, my home. Oh, yeah. I love it. But again, I do love it here. You yeah. know, I can go climbing while everyone else is like at school. And do I you want to go? Whatever. Do you want to go back to school? No. Ever. <laughs> no. So we think. Originally, we said we wanted to plug them back into the school system because we didn't know How? what we were going to do. And as parents, you, you don't want to shut any doors early. Yeah. So we need to leave all opportunities open for them. So we have to make sure they pass their exams. So that for us is our major goal. Yeah. Whether we do that ourselves or whether we do it through the school system or private yeah. tutors or however we do it, mm. but that is the goal, is to make sure that at the end of the process, they they're, have not, got, disadvantaged. they're not disadvantaged yeah. through us bringing them out of school. And the one thing that's slightly harder is like socialization, playground politics, all of those sort of things. <laughs> but of course, they did go to school for a long time. Mm -hmm. But you've met our girls, um, mm. so you meet a lot of people on the road and they're mm. forced to come and talk to people, engage, have conversations, be polite and all yeah. of those sort of things and understand how adult yeah. dynamics work. So I think they get yeah. a lot of that. You also found and kids it. along the way. Though, and yeah, and we found yeah. children. Yeah. I think that it is quite friends. important though to go to school before into like a certain age because otherwise, you know, you just don't get, you don't get forced 
to like socialize and you just don't learn those social skills mm. but it's also good to see both worlds like the adult world is a lot different it's a lot of just sitting down and talking talking and drinking <laughs> yeah and I'm, I, I know I'm used to that so I think it's really important as well to see both sides so like we'd always be at like parties with our friends um, and sometimes I go to sit with the adults because you do need both sides like the running yeah. around and the jumping and then the sitting and the talking <laughs> <laughs> the sitting boy. yeah but it feels like you know you girls get to go in as I call it the school of life yeah mm. you know like you learn so one. many different I just saw when you um, did the bonfire like, like yeah. two nights ago and, oh, yeah, and you asked Annabelle why did I turn why turn, didn't I turn, turn around and yeah. you said because of the wind you know yeah. it's this small little, little thing things. Yeah that you learned that I might not have learned when I was a kid or someone else don't learn and you yeah. know the social skills and we talked about it before girls as well like you know the phones and the computers and stuff you're never on that no. I've never seen you with a phone I think my friends yeah. yeah. were they so were. that's a really interesting yeah. point yeah, yeah. Um, we had a lot of cold turkey <laughs> six weeks I think it took us to really yeah Wow. Well, I, I, just, away from social I, media. I used to get like quite addicted to like TikTok and games. Yeah. And now I don't even know on my phone. It's like yeah. it could be anyway. Yeah. It could be back into it. Because you're enjoying yeah. life here and it's now. A different, at it's this a different moment. focus. Yeah. And I think you can't underestimate and you'll know this because you work in that environment, but the, the pressures of social media on everybody, yeah. but mm. particularly young girls. Yeah. Um, and we hadn't really And we recognized hadn't clocked it. it. We hadn't recognised no. it. And um you always think as a parent, there's, there's things you think as a parent and you say, oh, I'll never do this or this will never happen. And of course, in reality, it's, course different. It it's very, very different. And phones was one of them. And I said, well, well the, you know, our children won't have phones, but they both danced. And um, so then it was like no. music, access to music for them to go dancing. So you take a phone and a speaker and they can go in the garden and they can go and dance. But before you know it, that's TikTok. And then before TikTok, then there's, you start, well, I want Snapchat and then I want Facebook and I want Instagram. And then they're just being bombarded yeah. with um, imagery yeah. and content that you, as a parent, you wouldn't necessarily choose for your yeah. 11, 12 year old daughter yes. to be seeing. Um, and that, when we took it away, um, because we were traveling and, and it just became a natural process and we were witnessing it more because we could see it in the bus, that was fascinating. Yeah. And I would, I would, I would describe it, it as being journey. the same as a drug addict going through yeah. withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. 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 They were scratchy, itchy, scratchy, miserable. Yeah. It, it is, it, because it, it's, it's something you get addicted to. It's, 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 it's that's how it is. And, yeah. Yeah. and I don't even like my phone anymore. I mean, it just makes me like weird, and I just go. But, and tired. this hurts but, my head. Yeah. Looking back on it, it's really funny because. Me and Annabelle, you wouldn't even know we were sisters. You'd oh, think we, we were we actually mortal each other. enemies. You would think wow. that I actually hated her guts. I probably did. <laughs> uh, same. Oh. But it's it's like because all we had we were just glued to the screen and yeah. so it made and We were literally we were never. Also, something we like, talk about is that nothing can go un mentioned. You, yeah. Um, you have to solve everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's you. You can't leave anything. Well, so that's a, that's like a double-edged sword, isn't it? So the advantage of being in a small space is that any issues have to get resolved. Otherwise, it's just you can't build it up unpleasant. for weeks and weeks and yeah, just exactly. be annoyed and you yes. know. Yeah. But the disadvantage the is, of course, is you're on top of each other. So yeah. You, yeah. And you, also, you sometimes those frictions yeah. might be a bit magnified. So, so what happened at the beginning is I think things were left unsaid from our home life, and then we came into this box. And we were just a mass of emotions, weren't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. The plan for you guys now are to go back to the UK, right? Yes. We're going yeah. to Ireland first. To Ireland first. Yeah. Okay, so cool. the yes. aim, Ireland. the aspiration is to go to Ireland mm -hmm. for a month or yeah. so and uh, explore Ireland and then head home for the summer catch up with friends and family because we, we can't wait to see We can't yeah, wait to yeah. get home and do you that. You do know you have to do the accent in Ireland. To be sure, we're going to Ireland <laughs> and um, then home for maybe three months. Not sure exactly. So we need to re-rent our house. We need to check in with family and make sure everything's all all right. But when we go home to UK, we are still living in the Baker bus. Oh, the original yeah. plan was to put them back in school in September, but that the only plan we have is that they're definitely not. Yeah, doing yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. So, um, my question for you guys as a couple now. So, yeah. how do you balance with like, do you work? Do you, you know your own things? It's homeschooling, you know, all of this. So, yeah. how do you guys do that? 
to make okay. everything work on a daily basis. So I think most of my time goes on researching what I'm doing with homeschooling or what we're, yeah. as a family, yeah. what we're doing with homeschooling. Yeah. So I've stuff. done the bulk of the research. You're like head of done. curriculum I'm and headmistress. And, and headmistress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. sure. Gareth's um, head of maths, obviously. Um, and so quite a lot of my time is taken up with that. Yeah. Um, I'm also a nutritionist. Yeah. So I've written a book that mm -hmm. um, I'm now just going to start to promote. Yeah, so, so people can still buy your book now while you are traveling, so they can buy that online? They can. Perfect. They I'll link buy. it below. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's on Amazon. So you're published. Yeah. Published. Love it. And now it, the journey begins to yeah. promote it. Amazing. So that's me. So that covers you sort of being able to do it in the bus and online. And then for me, um, I spent 24 years in the British Army. Uh, and so when I retired, you get a, a small pension from that. So that's part of our financial stability. Mm -hmm. And we rented our house at home, which provides the other little bit. Um, and then I work as an operations director um, in a startup. <laughs> What's, a, What's going on here? <laughs> uh, so I work as an operations director in a startup company. Um, and we're small and we've been going for four years. Um, we are still developing our product and we haven't made a lot of money yet or no money yet. Um, <laughs> But the, it, the vast majority of that is done remotely. Yeah. It's a lot of tech and stuff and online. So that gave us the opportunity to be able to travel and still do that. Well, there's so many opportunities yeah. out there. You just have to be open to see them, right? Yeah. And you have to and you be open know. to go for it. And they do say you, you just need to do what you love. and, and Do what you love and things yeah. will come. Law of attraction. Law yeah. of attraction. Yeah. And, and of course, traveling, you meet so many different people. Mm. So yeah. literally, yes. you know, we are... Can't see out the window, but we're in a, in a beautiful mountain range by a yeah, stunning lake. Stunning food and both um, sides. and like-minded people sometimes gravitate to like-minded places. Yeah. Don't you? And, and mm -hmm. I think that's been a fantastic think, part of what we've been doing is the people you yeah. meet and yeah. the things you learn. Exactly. So we're trying to develop sort of strong, you know, well-motivated, um, high self-esteem, you know, stable, independent. independent young girls. And then you're climbing a mountain. I'm looking up at the mountain going, I'm not sure I can get up there. And, and then you see the both your children are already beating you up. And they have <laughs> oh no fear. And, 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 and so to watch them overcome those challenges, and that's yeah. happened. And generally do that through sport, but yeah. equally yeah. to overcome the challenges of like schoolwork. Ants. Ants, ants, ants is a yeah. good one. Jessica had a bit of a phobia about ants and Piera helped to overcome that while climbing. But even that's on the schoolwork, you were... Uh, you were struggling to, you could see this mountain of work and it's like, I can't do it, it's too much. But I then actually, to watch you break it down into bits and then incrementally work your way through it. And then when you finished it all, you were like, so proud of yourself. What happened was in lockdown, I wasn't doing my schoolwork properly. So mum, well, I was doing my set schoolwork from the actual school, but what mum and dad were setting me, I wasn't doing. Yeah. I think the, the thing that we have decided with this lifestyle is not to run away from yeah. traditional exams and a traditional lifestyle, um, but to embrace all that we have around us while doing it. It's, it's so, and it's, it's anybody can do it. Yeah. But you have to, you have to recognise it's not as easy. It's not necessarily yeah. easy. Living in a van isn't oh, yeah. always easy. You you've got to um, you know look after the vehicle itself. You've got to look after each other. There'll be challenges of like if it rains for a week, being yeah, in a van yeah. for a week can, oh be, really, really, hard, can be really, hard, really, really yeah. tough. But also, yeah, and also you need to <laughs> you need to be the you have to be like the right mindset. So if you're like high in the clouds and you're just you know not doing it right, almost you kind of have to be like grounded. Well, we talk about grounded, grounded yeah. Well, yeah. So like you've got to be calm and you you can't just do whatever you want. Yeah, tied to respect, yeah, to respect everyone. Tied. Okay, guys, just to finish up with a few questions, yeah. uh, because I know that first of all, to you guys, so mm -hmm. there's many people and families out there that might mm -hmm. look at social media or whatever it is, or hear people doing this, and they're like, "Oh, I wish we could do it," or yeah. you know, how mm -hmm. would that be possible? If you could give them one tip, parent to parent, to make this possible, <sighs> what would you say? Well, while you're thinking, I think my tip would be just go for it so you, you have if, if, if you if you're thinking about it then go for it and everything's possible so yeah. you just any problem any challenge you will be able to overcome if you make that your goal yeah. um, 
there's always reasons not to do it. Yeah. So you've got to overcome those and and, uh, and just go for it because it's, it's possible for everybody. I think that would be my tip. It is. I think the, the one thing that we haven't really discussed is it, it, you have to have some income to be yeah. able to do it. So you've got to find a method of at least supporting. You don't need as much money as you would when yeah. you're in a house. You no, still need... True. You do, you do need some way of being able to support yourself while you're on the road. Yep. And so if trying to, to find a method of being independent rather than relying on the job is actually what I think. Well, if you can find that way, yep. then, yes. then you're... That helps you out. Yeah, yeah for sure. Cool. And you girls, if you would say one thing, okay. the best about this lifestyle, one thing. Um, Jessie, you could. Um, especially for children, uh, if you're travelling with a sibling, be each other's best friends. Yes, definitely. Because you're not going to... We, we were very lucky to find friends, yeah. but they're never they're not in the same van as you 24-7. So if you can do your best to be best friends, then just... You've got to really try hard. hard. You kind of had to learn that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Me and Jess, yeah. we weren't like the closest. I mean, we used to sleep in the same room and stuff, but we really yeah, actually weren't are. the closest. Now, I have no secret that I don't tell Jess. She knows mm. everything about me. Yeah. I know everything about her. So yeah, Jess's tip is very good. You have to, it's not just, oh, you're my best friend. No, you're not. You have to, be, <laughs> you have to really to try. Really feel it, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And, what's especially your, and what's your, your, yeah. your thing then? Okay. The best thing about this lifestyle? Okay, so or my tip. tip would be... Hmm. Tip or the best thing? I okay. can decide. All right. Um, but it would be just get your schoolwork done, you know. Mm, <laughs> You're gonna have it. Get it done, have fun. Just get, get it done. done. Fun. And then like you've got to be open to new things. So get your schoolwork done and then if they say, Oh, we're gonna go do this and you don't really wanna do it, tough luck. Just yeah. go. That is a really good thing. That's your friends at the end of the car park say, We're gonna do do a workout to the worst song in the world. <laughs> just go Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> What was it called? Up, down, Sally. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Sally up. Bring Sally up. Bring Sally up. There you go. But that's a lovely tip. Yeah. The yeah. That's a lovely tip. Going back to like the sibling thing, you really just do it. I think those are the best. You have to be your best. Yeah, I love that too. Yeah. That's amazing. Loads of love. You've done really well, girls. Yeah. Cool. Especially as we're opposites, we had to try really yeah. quite hard. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, thank you, guys. Well, thank, thank you for you. the coffee. It's been, yeah. yes. this been a best pleasure. And I'm um, really, really inspired by your lifestyle. Gives me hope that I can do this with my kids in the future. Yeah. And uh, we, really have to say, we have to say, we have learned from people that we meet. Yeah. And you guys just are incredible. Yeah. Yeah, but you've cost us a fortune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've showed us all, all the things, things we need. <laughs> I mean, you know, a, a portable cinema. First, a portable a cinema. Phone. First, you said we don't need much. Yeah. And now we a can phone, a drone, oh, and a You just keep travelling with us and yeah. you don't need to buy any of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we need to come and visit us. Yeah, we definitely need to come and visit us. Yeah, of course we will. Well, thank you guys so much. And, um, um, you, I'm going to link all of your Instagrams and whatever it is and yeah. where yeah. they can buy your book and where you can follow them. Um, so it's possible to live van life <laughs> as a family as well. You guys have proven 100%. that. And yeah. It's amazing to see the happiness and love between you. It's really, really oh, inspiring. Bless. Thank you. Thank How you do we guys. say goodbye in Swedish? Yeah, Hidor. 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 <laughs> <laughs>